Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. This one's going to be a bit of an exciting one. It's something I've been waiting on a long time to use and I'm also using a product which looks stunning, feels stunning and I've never used one before. So let's get stuck in with the soap first. Now I've matched the soap up with the colour of the brush, pretty much, sort of. Soap makers of Awesome Town, Barrister and Man, Luxury Dragon Tallow Shaving Soap. Now the scent on this, I absolutely love it. It's a passion fruit, very fruity, summer scent really that's all it is for me and i really enjoy it this was very very kindly sent to me from kyle brown over at brown man shaves and as you can see at the back there april fool it's not obviously legitimately dragon tallow but it's nice to think that it is now the brush i've got the brush soaking in the watery the brush for today is going to be a shave mac 26 millimeter Now the knot in this is called a 26mm unique silver tip knot. It's handmade in Germany. The knot is hand tied I believe as well in Germany. And you can see there that the tips are really nice. Now I've already dipped this in the water, took it out and touched the tips and it feels like a cloud. So I'm really excited to use this, I really am. So straight into the soap. The soap's dry, the brush is probably just a little bit wet. There we go, that's better. Now I have had absolutely, you guys know, no luck whatsoever with hand tied knots. Other than the one that I had, I've got on loan at the moment from Rhodium Knots, and I've also received my handle with a Rhodium knot in it. And so far, so good, that just looks like it. Yep, it's not a loose hair, <whistles> thankfully. I've been assured by Tom, yeah, I purchased this from Tom Story, lovely guy. He's over in the UK and he's just basically reducing his den. All he's using now is 30mm tuxedos and I can't remember the name of the other knot, but it's the knots from AP Shave Co. The cashmere, 30mm cashmere and tuxedo knots. So all he's using is Cadman brushes and why not? They are exceptional knots. And a lot of people are drive, sort of driving natural hair out of the den in many ways. It's happening all over the world at the moment and wet shaving I'm noticing. Long. So there's the brush, fully loaded up, ready to go. I'm not going to put any more than that in. It's a 26 millimeter knot, but it doesn't look or feel too big. Now it's nowhere near as dense as rhodium knots, declaration grooming, and the likes. It's not nothing like those knots in terms of density. But it feels incredible. Now the formulation of soap makers in awesome of Awesome Town is the Glissant base, which for me, at the moment as it stands, is probably the third best base that I've used from Barrister Man. I prefer Excelsior as number one, and then I actually prefer the Lather range over the Glissant, and then, as you probably know, the Reserve base last. So here we go. Let's start painting this on. face feel is absolutely amazing. Now this this knot here is heralded as, as one of the best in any brush so I'm really happy to have it. I think personally I got it for an absolute steal and I'm sure Tom will agree with me and so many others I got it for an absolute steal and I, I had to snap his arms off for it pretty much to grab it fast enough. He was selling so many nice items I put Spencer Frankel onto him as well and, and he ended up buying, I think he bought a razor and a couple of brushes as well. He was selling Wolf Whiskers, Shave Max, Thetas, the Digress, which I think is made from Ian at the Gentleman's Groom Room. I think that's where the Digress comes from, the, similar to the Murgress, the Merca Progress, but upgraded from the plastic knob to the metal knob. And I think the Digress is, I don't think they're actually going to make it anymore. So that's pretty much translucent all over. The knot, you can see the gloss on that ladder there. Wow. No, 
that feels amazing. And it's not losing any ears. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of water in. This feels like a synthetic. It feels like a tuxedo now. The handle, the handle is absolutely stunning. It's a lovely size as well. Sprinkle a little bit more water in. Just caught that. Oh, set on this soap as well. This is going to be a cracking shave. I just know it, I know it already. I'll just get a little bit of the soap just running down the handle. It will take me a little bit of time to learn that, to learn the knot. You do have to, I find with natural hair brushes, you have to sort of learn its characteristics. really grumble with that. That is, what an amazing knot. Is that a loose ear? No. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. A hand tied knot, used first time, not lost a single hair. Right, on to the razor. The Wolfman WR1 polished stainless with the, it's gone out of my head now, the Darwin handle. Now, it's not something I would normally have picked the Darwin handle, but I do actually like it in the hand. So there is the top cap, there is the base plate. It's a very light, very, very light, well, to say it's light steel, it's the same weight as any other steel, I would imagine. Such a thin profile as well. I mean, that's really thin profile. But let's pop in one of the best blades, if not the best blade I've ever used. Gillette Super Stainless the Spoiler Vintage Blade. Put one of them in. If you're going to use one of the world's most regarded, highly regarded, amazing razors, you've got to use a cracking blade with it as well. So now the thread is very, very smooth. I know that's not focusing very well. And there we go. So that's the blade in there. You can see the, the gap. I should be spot one. I did check it before. But it is absolutely perfect. Let's just get stuck in. Why not? Finish this pass, then I'll talk a bit about it. I just want to mention as well, this is a cold water shave with zero prep. Come on from doing a quote.
Right, first pass, first impressions. It's a 0.67 blade gap, so I was expecting it not to really have much blade feel. I was expecting it to be mild and not very efficient, so that was the sort of feeling I had in my head. That's what I was expecting. However, the blades felt through the whole shave there. I could feel the blade the whole time I was using it. It's certainly very efficient. I've got two days growth and it's wiped most of it away. It's done a really good job. It might be the blade, it doesn't feel, I wouldn't say it's as smooth as the car, but it definitely isn't as smooth as the car, but it's got a different feel to it. It's got a, it's quite bitey feeling. It feels like it's really getting chewed into the hair and, do, and doing its job, but it's certainly not as, as, as smooth. going to take me a little while to get used to it. getting used to how it ladders. I mean, it's that's a little bit thinner than normal, but I put that down to the soap as well. I'm not the, the glissant base is good, but it's nowhere near as fantastic as Excelsior or the other big big names at the moment, big sort of quality ones. So here we go, pass number two across the green. Right, another thing I'm noticing with it, it's got quite a lot of drag. This is slick silk, it's by no means not a slick silk. Definitely a lot of blade feel. It's not uncomfortable at all. If I had to say this actually feels like a razor at the moment that I've used, I would say it's quite similar in feel to the Tatara Masamuni Nadachi, but it's got more drag. It's, got, it's quite a draggy razor. It feels like I'm having to pull it through the hair. Even with the slickness of the silk. Here. It's got a lot of blade feel. It's a, it's a, it's an odd one. I wasn't expecting it to be this efficient and have this much blade feel. I really, honestly thought that this would be a. This brush feels amazing, but as you can see, the lather's really dissipating. I'm just going to go back to the soap. I don't normally do this. Just a quick swirl. Like I say, it's going to take me a while to get used to this. I probably didn't load the brush enough in the beginning. I know it seemed like I was loading for ages, but the soap's really hard now. It's been sat on use for probably seven months or so so it's, it's got very hard but the scent the scent strength is still very strong still very passion fruity which is a big big bonus so here we go other way i don't know whether you can see this but i shouldn't really hang on just let me put a little bit of soap on there Watch my skin. Now I've got soap on there, it's slick. I know it's slick, I can feel it, it's very slick. Watch it pull my skin. I'm not saying all razors don't do this, every razor probably does this, but I can I can actually feel this doing it. You see my skin going to the side like I'm stretching it. It's really dragging my skin over.
very very efficient I certainly I think I would honestly struggle using this daily I mean it's given me a, a very very close shave really close Excellent under the nose. Yeah, it's um Wait for a first use. It's certainly smooth enough. However, I do find that blade gap, the way that blade sits, the way that razor is made, it feels like a like a one. It feels a bit like the you know, uh, start razor with a one point one eight, or the, the D or the E plate, or maybe in the F plate, or the E plate on on the cart razor. It feels really, really aggressive. Actually, it feels. I'm definitely got this pure blade on the skin. Now I will say one thing. That's a cracking shave. I've obviously I've taken my time. Post shave on Barrister Man's beautiful. I've taken my time with it. I haven't rushed and ultimately I've got a great shave. I'm not gonna not gonna go into the shave, it's an absolute brilliant shave. Rinse my brush out. Such a nice brush this. Beautiful. Superb. Not a single hair loss, not one. Right, so the soap, I'll just rinse that out. So yeah, it's a, it's a strange one. It really is, because I've got a great shave. I don't feel like I've got any real irritation to speak of. Feels like I've had a really, really nice shave, which I suppose that's what I'm looking for. You know, I can't really grumble at that. But let's have a ch oh. soap makers in, of awesome town, Barrister Man, Glissant Base, wonderful scent. You can't get it anymore. I love the scent of it. I love the performance of it. It does work very well. It's just not as good as some of the high end ones. It's certainly not as good as Tabac or Mitch's Wolf Fat, which are really old and time lasting formulations, but it's very, very good. The brush. I'm really happy with it. The Shave Mac. Made in Germany. That handle is, honestly, the picture on the video is not doing this any justice. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is all engraved and then painted in. It's just pristine. And the knot is absolutely stunning. It's so soft on the face. I mean, those tips feel amazing. Sort of funny looking little bulb. It's like a almost like a mushroom it's not it doesn't look like a standard bulb but obviously this is hand tied as well it's not machine tied it's got some lovely gel tips on it as well i can see them all sort of sticking together even though that's pretty much bone dry now since i've if you can see it just up around here a few of them still sticking together and it now smells beautiful no funk on it whatsoever it's obviously been used a bit by tom as well but wonderful the blade for today which is my sort of tried and tested, my one that I use in every razor that I've never, it's never failed me in any razor. Performed wonderfully again in the Wolfman. WR1 Darwin handle. 
It is a stunning razor, I have to say. It's, it's very pretty to look at. It's very well machined. It's very, very well done. And I can't really grumble at anything on it, other than it, it does drag. It's definitely drag there. I don't know whether it's just the first time using it. Maybe it's the soap. Maybe I need to try maybe a bit of Mitchell's wool fat tomorrow and see how it goes. Am I going to be able to shave with that daily? I'll try it again tomorrow and see if it works. But I think, in all honesty, I'm going to struggle with that razor daily because it's quite quite blade feeling, there's a lot of blade feel from it for a 0.67 blade gap I mean you can see there there isn't a whole heap of blade gap, it's not a it doesn't look overly aggressive I mean I'm even I'm trying to look at the sort of here where you've got your blade exposure I'm sort of feeling here just down towards the blade and it doesn't even feel like there's much blade exposure but it's definitely there, you can feel it on your face it's very efficient and I've got a really really close shave today without any real without any problems really if I'm honest I had one weeper down here and I thought I cut myself but I didn't I'm really happy with this it it's an odd one if you handed me that razor and said it was 30 bucks I wouldn't buy one in all honesty so the fact that it's 500 bucks or 400, 500, 600 Australian I still don't think I'd buy it I don't know I'm on the list I'll wait and see when my number comes up I honestly believe 0.67 is too, too efficient, too aggressive for me. I don't know whether the WR2 head might suit me more, I honestly don't know. It's a lot of money to pay for a razor, which for me doesn't feel as smooth or as comfortable as the calf. It does the same job, I get the same end product. Obviously without any real pain or any irritation or any blood or anything, but it's, yeah, I don't know, it's a strange one. I've been so excited to use this razor from the moment I've seen a Wolfman razor and I'm so, so happy that Sir Jan took a gamble and sent it over to me and put some trust in me. And like I say, Sir Jan, this will be looked after very, very well. And I'll make sure it's polished up after every use before I send it back to you. But it's it's an odd one. I'm not... I don't love it. I thought I was going to love it. I wanted to love it. I wanted to really enjoy this razor. I enjoyed it, but it's just not the carve. It's not as good as a carve razor. And, I, and you can argue with me as much as you want. Obviously, it's a personal opinion. It's what I think about the razor, but I don't think... I think the handle's beautiful. I love the handle. It's quite comfortable to hold, believe it or not. Quite comfortable to hold. The head's nice. It's just not the most comfortable of shaves. It's close, but it's not quite got a cigar. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly... I did enjoy using it, I must say. And I've been so excited to use a Wolfman since I first seen them. But I'm a little disappointed. I was expecting more and didn't get it. I think I maybe overhyped it in my head, expecting it to be out of this world, and it's not. And I think I'm quite happy really knowing that the calf, in my opinion, so far from one use, it's only one use. I will get better with it hopefully over a few shaves. The calf's just a better razor. It's smoother, it's as efficient, there's barely any blade fuel. And it's way, way cheaper. You know, even the stainless one in polished, I think the polished stainless one is 300 Canadian, Canadian, I think, 300 US. Still cheaper than that. And that's for the polished stainless version. So, yeah. Sort of bit of sweet shave with it, I've got to say. But I will get stuck into it. I'll use it a few more times to see how it feels before I send it back to Surgeon. And yeah, not much more I can say. Stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys for the next shave. Cheers.